everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have this look right here this is a, a valentine's day out makeup tutorial this is like a very beautiful uh, sober neutral day out uh, kind of makeup look you can obviously wear it for your date night as well or whenever you want to wear it but yeah this is the look i've come up with for a valentine's day out makeup if you want to know how to get this look please keep on watching and before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification button the bell icon to get notified each time i put up a video and yeah let's get right into the video so starting off first thing i'm going to moisturize my face because it's going to be a day out this moisturizer is from neutrogena this is their oil free moisturizer the reason i'm applying this moisturizer is because you're going to go out in the sun which i'm not but you need to keep the oil off your face you need to apply a uh, oil free moisturizer if you're applying one and also i'm going to add a few drops of the nika essentials uh, rose oil because it's valentine's day i'm just going to take not even half a drop of it and ah uh, the smell if you can see I'm, i've got like pimples now i wanted to tell you a backstory about this i normally don't get pimples i usually don't get pimples unless that i'm allergic to something or I speak on the phone. Now the reason I've got this these pimples only on this side. I've not got any pimples over here. I've got pimples over here. And it's because I I talk holding my phone up against this here. Okay that and it um it sticks on my cheeks if you know what I mean. So um I forgot to clean the screen of my phone and your phone screen is really dirty. If your phone screen is dirty, you start getting pimples because the bacteria the dirt particles enter your skin and then it's gross so sanitize your phone screen because that can cause pimples next i'm going to moisturize my lips and for that i'm using the palmer's uh, cocoa butter formula in the variant dark chocolate and cherry the next thing i'm going to do is prime my face and i'm going to use two different primers today because um, if you're going for a day out your skin will sweat a lot also your t-zone might become oily and my t-zone does become oily so for that i'm using the wet and wild uh, photo focus face primer the matte face primer and uh, for my entire face that is this area especially i'm using the no filter blurring primer by nyx now i do to sweat a lot on my face my face sweats a lot also like i secrete oil when i apply products on my face like if i'm applying foundation i normally won't um, my face won't become oily normally but when i put any product it's, it just comes out <laughs> i don't know if that's even making sense to you guys but um, i secrete a lot of oil when there's product on my face so i'm just going to apply it on my t-zone and my nose especially this part because that's where the oil mines lay and then i'm going to take the next no filter blurring primer just a bit okay so now for my foundation, I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to mix two foundations because I haven't used this foundations from like quite a long time. So this is a L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation and this is the L'Oreal Matte Magique 12 hour foundation. So I'm going to mix both of them. Next I'm going to take my packed beauty blender and I'm just going to blend it all in. Also you guys, I just hit like uh, 400 subscribers i don't know whether it will be 400 when the day i'm posting it or it will be more than 400 but um i just hit 400 subscribers today and i'm so grateful for you all who've been watching my videos i know this is like a very small milestone but it is really big for me especially um like when it comes for a makeup artist a lot of people don't watch makeup videos because not a lot of people apply makeup plus um, my channel is a woman centric channel so i know a lot of people might not watch these videos but still getting 400 subscribers in such a small time and um, getting these views like 100 plus plus 200 plus whatever it is it's like quite a big deal for me and i am really thankful and grateful for you all who've been watching my videos it really means the world to me and trust me when i say this it really means so much to me with every 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 subscriber increasing i become so happy next i'm going to use the wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny i'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes also um i'm not going for a fuller coverage look 
because i don't know i just don't want a full coverage look i think today but if you want to you know hide your pimples and your scars you can check my videos out on that i've made two videos one on how to cover scars and one is on how to cover your pimples or acne so you can check that out over here i'll leave the link over here also leave your uh, concealer for about um, 20 to 30 seconds the more you leave it the more coverage it gives so i'm going to leave it for around 30 seconds so 30 seconds over and i'm just going to blend it all in and if you're looking out for a amazing concealer in affordable range and like a really good range this concealer is too good like i i it's really good you guys i mean i never expected such a nice result out of this i normally go for the wet um la girl concealer i guess but this is equally amazing i mean if you leave it for like some time it's like too good now next i'm done with my concealer i'm done with my base and uh, now i'm going to just lock it all in so i'm going to lock it all in using the maybelline super fresh i don't like the name it's a super fresh 2l r whitening plus freshness compact but however it's a great compact i really love this compact it's too amazing and i love the smell i don't know why and i'm just going to swirl it in and i'm just going to lock it all in so now it's time for the eye shadow i'm not going to do a lot for my eye shadow but i'm just going to keep it nice and natural and okay so i'm going to take this palette these both the palettes this is from uh, makeup revolution they are 1 million eye shadow palette which i always love using first i'm going to take this shade from it so i'm just going to apply it below my brow bone so this is your brow bone yeah and you need to apply it over your okay i'm taking this maroon shade from the same palette and i'm going to intensify my crease and then next i'm going to take a flat eye shadow brush and i'm just going to wet it a bit I'm going in with this brown shade. It's a nice chocolatey brown, and I'm just going to pat it on my eyelid up till here. Reason I'm doing it this because I don't want an entire chocolate brown eyelid. I want like a nice gradient effect. I'm going to pick out this bronze shade from here, and I'm going to apply it in the inner corners of my eye. I'm not going to stop over here. I'm going to take my flat brush again and I'm going to take this maroon shimmery shade from it and I'm just going to um use it below my waterline. So I'm going to take this eyeliner from Oriflame. It's the other one eyeliner so you can um go for a winged eyeliner or a normal eyeliner. I'm just going to keep a little wing. I'm really not sure. So next it's time for contouring, highlighting and blushing. So so for that I'm going to take a palette that I haven't used for so many months now. It was it used to be my favorite palette, okay? It's a sugar contour the first palette. Oh my god. I haven't used, I haven't touched it. So first I'm going to contour my face. For that I'm going to actually take my beauty blender itself and I'm going to dig into this um contouring shade right here. And I'm just going to contour the my cheekbones. I'm going to contour my nose. And I think I'm going to contour my forehead a bit with what's left on my beauty blender. Yeah, next I'm going to take my fan brush. I'm going to use a little setting spray on my face first. Next I'm going to take my highlighting brush and I'm just going to dip it into my highlighter. And I'm going to use it on to my cheekbones. I'm go I'm not going to apply it in this on the center of my face. I'm going to apply where the light hits. 
and uh, oh the main thing I, I actually forgot to do this I'm going to do my eyebrows so I'm going to take this palette and I'm going to take a dark uh, brown and a black shade I'm just going to mix them and I'm just going to fill my eyebrows just a bit I don't want to do something over the top it's just that I cannot really step out of the house without doing my eyebrows now the next thing I have to do is blush Again, I'm going to take the same beauty blender. I'm just going to take this on the back of my beauty blender and I'm just going to apply it. Yeah. And then I'm going to take and I'm just going to apply it on my eyelashes. Okay, so uh, the last step is lipstick and um, this is from the Nykaa Matte Class Collection. It's in the shade Boho. It's a beautiful muted plum shade. I should apply red as well. So that is a finished look you guys. I really hope you'll enjoy the video. I really loved how my eyes turned out to be. I hope you loved it too. I hope you'll really I hope you like this video. If you already know what to do, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. We are really close to 500 subscribers. And do comment what type of videos would you want to see next and tell me how are you planning of spending your Valentine's Day. Do let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know. And yeah, I'll see you all super soon till then. Bye. Enjoy your Valentine's. Mwah.